It was Nana Beard, Nana Beard, oh, Nana, Nana Beard, Nana, Nana Beard. beard. Boom, 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 boom. Why are you so slow, Nana Beard, Nana Beard? <laughs> Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinions Podcast. As always, I'm your Meet Me at the Dumpster host, Kenny. What was, what was the what's the name of the of the bad detective who's not good in their department? Well, there's, I think there's a couple of candidates. So you mean Ricks? Did you say Riggs? <laughs> Riggs. That's what I keep, yeah, detective I'm, Riggs. It's Martin Riggs. So it's Martin Riggs. Martin Riggs. But like everyone, not the him. one who gets like shot, but but the one who feels guilty about it. It's like Trandor. I'm Trandor. Trandor! Trandor. Trandor! I'm pretty sure his name is Trandor. I don't think it's Trandor. That's me. I'm Daniel, and I'm Trandor. That's me in the spotlight. That's me in the corner. That's me having a pizza celebrating that we caught the bad guy. Is it? Jansen, that's yes, 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 yes. I don't even know if it's Jansen. Is it English? I, I think they pronounce it Jansen, though. No, they do say Jansen. It's a song. Do they? Yeah. Oh. Then they probably also say, I'm yumping, I'm yumping. Who are they yumping? I hope they're like consenting to be no, yumping. jumping. Oh, like. They say ages. Games. They can say ages. Like they would say Hogwarts, they wouldn't say Yogwarts. Oh, that'd be gross. I didn't know class culture was. You haven't introduced was, uh, yourself, you yeah, ignorant I'm trying skink. To, but oh, sorry. You're, you're one of them. What does he say? Right. You're one of them selfish whores. Oh. And I'm very worried about class culture next to the dumpster, Ryan. But I want oh, yeah. you and me and all other people to come talk, talk to me, me about it. Next to this. Oh, look, that's all. I never knew what a slam pig was really until <laughs> I read it in this book. I had heard you mention it before, but now I actually get it. All is so clear now. Because the foundation was laid many moons was ago. Was her daughter even in that class? Did she just bring <laughs> her kid in a ballet suit and just like go do ballet? I gotta go. Hey, look, I'm here too. Oh, I gotta go talk to you. I don't think her child is even in that fucking class. This episode starts. In oh, that what case. What are we talking In that about? Case, I'm, re- I'm redoing my intro. <clears throat> I'm okay, a little right. slam piggy Daniel again. Oh, God. Oink, oink, I'm back. We are, of course, doing episodes three and four of the Chestnut Man. We had a ah. Nana Beard song, but I've already forgotten it. It was like Nana Beard. Uh 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 uh. No, it wasn't. Nana Beard Beard. No, it wasn't that either. It wasn't that. That's good, too. It was literally five minutes ago, and it's gone. It's like, Nana Beard. No, that's not it. Why are you so slow? It's lost like tears in the rain. Your cases are weird. Daddy is making a murder board. Hesh wants sex. He's still. But today we learned that Hesh used to get sex. Hmm. So. Not in the book. I shouldn't oh. have a wife in the book? Not, th- uh, not that I could remember. So I went back to try to find this, and I couldn't find it. What was their excuse for his uh, trauma state? He probably just sucked. He's just an obsessive detective? He screwed something up. I can't remember what it is. It, it, but no, that's not what made him leave. Like that whole, that t- at the table with the daughter, with L. Or when Luke. he eats grandpa's food? It, yeah, that didn't happen. I feel sorry for you. A couple other things didn't happen in the in the book, but we'll get to it. Uh, this this episode starts with politician lady in the car, and they're driving, and we're getting the political with stuff with Rickety Cricket, and he's all looking much. Now I just can't unsee it. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's up to some serious cricket business after I, he's, the fourth episode. He's too. definitely molting. So. He's put, getting his new shell. It's coming out. His new carapace is coming in nicely. Oh, is, he, is he some sort of a beetle? No, he's a cricket. Aren't we all? We, he's, cr- yeah, he's a cricket. They're, they're talking about shit. I don't remember what. Steen, he's, he's coping fine. Oh, yeah, they're talking about the whole situation. He, with, I would like, not say he's coping fine. He's gone full well, Charlie. Like, he's no, relapsing see, pretty he's bad. He's fine. 
They're talking about him like he isn't sitting across from him in the car. I bet he is. <laughs> He's <laughs> just unwinding a ball of yarn, uh, getting ready. I'm gonna. I'm <laughs> glad you guys dropped me off at Hobby Lobby to pick this up. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna glad we went on a Saturday because they're not open on Sunday, you know. Well, that's the Lord's Day. Little MacGyver, what's his fucking name? What's her son's name? Gustav? No, sure. Gustav is not their son. No, I mean, but I mean Steen and... Uh, Are you sure, Daniel? Rosa. Gustav is the, the autistic yeah, boy. Yeah, that's a good point. After episode four, are you sure that... No, Magnus is the autistic boy. Oh, shit, you're right. Are you sure Gustav is not? Oh, so you're son? saying Gustav son of a cricket is man? Uh, son of a cricket? Gustav, son of a cricket? Gustav, cricketson? Cricketson. Well, okay, look. Nah, he's not. Steen, <laughs> yeah, named Fed Gustav. He's obsessive about the, the daughter again. God, dude, shit with this. But wrong kid died. Let him have his murder board and his drinking. Stay out of his room. Okay, when he's cleaning his room. Yeah, he's vacuuming. Now, someone comes out, oh, yeah, yeah um, Steen has very good hair to beard ratio. He's got it put together. I like his look. It's looking it's good. A good he's it's like a, a good look. It's a solid look. He's like a look. Danish Ron Swanson. It's, it's, a, it's what you mm. should aspire to look like. Yeah, you know, I need a bit more touch of gray. I already got a, a taste of gray. I need a touch more gray, and then I, I think I can pull that off. Is your hair well, coming out? Is more, no. Don't get excited, buddy. Pull this it. This is all still <laughs> pull it off. thick off, everywhere. Off. Pull it off. One of him. One of him. Oh yeah. I am Legion. I am Legion. I well, remember the look. song, by the way. What was the song? Oh, go for it. It was Nana Beard, Nana Beard. Oh, Nana, Nana Beard, Nana Beard. Nana Beard. Why boom, are you so boom, slow? Boom, boom. Nana Beard, Nana Beard. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Daniel. Yeah, Kim is still not thrilled with the show. She fell asleep during like, episode <laughs> this... four last night. Okay, now, but she stayed awake for episode three, right? Because this is the one that keeps yeah. you awake she was awake for three but we also watched it a little earlier in the evening i believe this was like nine o'clock and that's two hours past her bedtime i understand okay look. I, got, I got one of those at my house as well <laughs> and i'm not one of those <laughs> uh, ron swanson danish ron swanson gets blamed by his wife for losing the daughter because like i'm guessing he was supposed to pick her up too or something but he, uno reverse card hey you didn't pick her up either yeah, you also didn't pick her up, even though I was the one who was supposed to pick her up that day. <laughs> You're like, you know what? Rickety Cricket didn't pick her up beaver. Picking up that beaver. beaver. <laughs> he didn't pick her up he beaver. Was picking up beaver pelts. He didn't pick her up. Well, uh, I'm Danish Ron Swanson. <laughs> you think of that? I got you. Uh, that's a dick move. She apologizes. They're cool. They're like, we'll just make new babies. We don't like the old ones anyway. Yeah. Uh, our detective, Naya, talking to Grandpa on the phone. She wants to talk to her daughter. Doesn't have time to even talk to her. So there's this... Families falling apart everywhere. That's the theme of this one. It's families falling apart. She missed another, like, the Lantern Festival or something. She sucks. Oh, man, Bad she mom. better hope that uh, no one takes notice of that. Bad parenting. Oh, Bad parenting. You think that's all it takes is missing a couple um, festivals? And then all you don't think she hasn't been, like, uh, missing shit for years? That's why she's trying to change jobs. They won't let her. It's too late. Let's go to cybercrime so she can work from home. And these other moms, they was some of them was trying to fix shit too, but you know it's too late. Too little, too late. Too late. That's not the point. It's too late to apologize. Too late. But I got good news because what you thought was on that uh, laptop, it's on the was laptop. On it. It's on there. But also, creepy man's computer, very organized. Um, That's true. Got them by like dates, like the folders and everything. So it's gonna be make make this real nice. That's Magnus, how you know it's a bad person laptop because they're very organized. Mine, chaos. It took me five minutes to find where I copied Parked over the your notes. Car. Yeah. Yeah. In my wife. <laughs> okay. Look, Magnus doesn't look like he's having fun in those videos, so I'm glad that we went with the other guy and didn't watch them. Gins? Yeah, Gins was disgusted. Oh, yeah. He, he's, <sighs> yeah. He's starting to realize that he should have been killing the fathers all along. Oh, okay. Because he was my first suspect. He's still not my main suspect, but... I think up to this point, he's still one of... Yeah, he's still one of mine up to this point. Who's your main sus? Who's your main sussy baka? Ooh, we'll yeah. talk about that when we get to episode four. Ooh, well, we'll do a little ep in episode three. Who you thinking? Because I was all over the board after number three. I'm still, I'm, I'm just, just for fun. I'm just sticking with like, ah, I thought he was a little too pushy trying to go on that jog. So I'm still saying <laughs> it's the, the forensics guy, <laughs> Kenny. I thought the exact same thing, but I, uh, but and um. 
it will get that it comes back around Look, it comes back episode around four is is gonna be fun to talk about because i'm validated on some other feelings pretty hard i think you can like i should have trusted my gut there but eh, whatever uh and yet they kill the, 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 the they kill the mother, but the dads are assholes. And the Hesh says the same thing I've been saying the whole time. Like, why are we punishing the moms and not the dads? Hesh knows. I also want sex. Hesh wants sex. We, are, I am Hesh. <laughs> I've known this for a while. Yeah, I've yes. What do you wants to be my captain? <laughs> I'll be your captain. Hell Just yeah. don't touch my stash. Don't touch my stash. Ryan, you can be Chopper Dave. Ho ho. So look, now they're making into a werewolf. connections, okay? There's abused <laughs> kids everywhere. Everyone's getting abused. I'm okay? kick-ass mama squish face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The doctor would be a prime suspect in knowing what's happening to these kids, but I still don't think it's the doctor, okay? The doctor at the He's hospital? Doctor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the one they talked to. He would be the to. prime okay. suspect. Yeah, yeah. He, he would know what's happening to these kids, right? Well, he would know. The nurses would know. Anyone with access to their files well, the would know. the nurses know everything, you know? They, Sometimes the nurses know even more than the freaking doctor. You just want to talk to me, because the doctor, they don't know. Sometimes Look, I, nurses have better relationships. Mm. Nurses she's are the good killer. with kids. Maybe you are. Mm. Good with kids or the killer, or both? Yes. Now, candid cameraman, you know, creepy stepdaddy of oh, Magnus, okay. uh, says he tried to get help. No, no, not that no, guy, No, 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 that's, uh, no, no, the, that's the, peeper, the next one. Uh, the, yeah, that's why I said candid camera. It wasn't no candid with Magnus. So the guy who was, like, taking videos of ladies... And whatnot. He said he tried to get help. Yeah, tried to get help to stop beating his family. Yeah, once. Yeah, and, and stop. Yeah, once. That's all it takes. Yeah, but they they came in and said, uh, "Here's the rule, dude. We've uh, we yeah, we checked the records. Now in the book, now okay, I, f- I forget in episode three, did they mention because in the book they say we contacted your uh, they call them all pairs, so the people who help the kit right, take care of the kids. They contacted them in the other countries, and they basically said, yeah, he beats them all to shit." No. I don't know if they mentioned that in the show. No, I don't they didn't that. mention that. Okay, so no. that happened there, and they're saying, "Yeah, uh, the prosecutor's gonna uh, charge you with, uh, you know, being a dickhead." So, you want to talk about who would do this to your wife? Huh? Do you? Do you? you do want, you? you want to tell us? How would I know? You're under arrest, but do you want to talk to us? <laughs> How would I know? I'm like, do you want to tell us? Did you do it? I feel like this is bad police interrogation tactics, but what do I know? Are there such thing as good police interrogation tactics? Yes, you make them think you're the, you're their friend and you're good here cop, to help bad them. Cop. Not oh, even so just everyone's good. It's just like, look, we know what happened. Everyone's good. We just need you to tell us your what side happened? of the story. <laughs> no, what's we your, know what happened. What happened? I don't need you, but now's the time if you want to like tell your side of it because after it, you know, I don't you know what happened. To talk, so dog. I need you to fill in the holes for me. Here's the problem it is that I, ce- I celebrate Shut the Fuck Up Fridays. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. You know what? No weekend trips. We're not going to go on a weekend trip, Thulin. I ain't going with you. We're not going on a you. weekend trip. Because you know what? She, she can't talk to her man now. I'm going with Styles. <laughs> I'm going with Styles. So she, she comes, I guess, what's her, what's her uh, side piece's name? Bastion. He's so, a crab. Because yeah. Hesh, and, Hesh and I are best friends now. Right. And he's all like, and so Who's Sebastian meets Hesh. So why does she go all ape shit on Sebastian? She, need, she had a bad day. She yeah. needs her space. He ain't giving it. But all she and has to do is just talk and just say what's up. It's, yeah, but it's like, it's that thing, though. It's, she's been waiting for this whole, like, she never wanted it to be a closer relationship. She isn't trying for it to be anything extra. Everyone else she, is pushing for he that. He is her slam pig. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, this, yeah. this does not happen in the book. Oh, they stay together and they're all happy? I, uh, I tried to go through it again to find out what happened. I have a memory of them having dinner with each other, but maybe that's, I'm remembering, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, era. and who knows. I'm mm. on her side in this, you know? Well, I, I figure, so she just came from a situation where the lady... She's bringing work home. Yeah, the lady had a guy, and, and the oh, guy was the molesting kid. the kid. And so now she's in a situation where she's got a guy and who's like hitting it off with her daughter and the daughter likes him. But what does she really know about him? And so she's just going to crank it to 11 and kick him out because one, she's had a bad day. And two, she didn't <laughs> want this to really go anywhere anyway. And three, she's probably she's probably hangry. She's probably mm, a little hangry. Yeah. Probably. And four, she found out Hesh wants sex. I don't think, I don't think he could survive. That, oh, I don't I don't think she they're they're friends. That's they're, how it starts. They're work sale. buds. They're partners. How many work buds have you slept with, Dale? Okay, well, all right. Okay. 
Okay, guy. Here's Razan, and he can sell your apartment for 10% above average. Love that Get guy. out of my He's, fucking place! Hey, what are I you love, doing? We find I out in episode the four, manager. he just leaves the fucking door open. Oh, he just leaves it unlocked all the time. Yeah, Quit going in there! Th- I go in all the time, use his toilet, I don't flush. It's fine. Look, I'm not gonna try <laughs> anything. Let's just relax <laughs> with some wine. Sebastian was blowing it. He can't give her what she wants. Or won't. Oh, no. Yeah. She S- can't space. give him what she wants or won't give. I don't know. But he's threatened by Hesh. And he should be, okay? He called Hesh a loser. Yeah, you don't know Hesh. You don't know Hesh. But Case has her rattled, okay? Rattled. Bringing it home. Now, we got another creepy watcher dude. That, that's the theme. Keeps coming up. Yeah, normally yeah. Uh, the good guys don't stand there in the rain staring at your apartment and then disappear when you take notice of them. Yeah, like when your man slam pig walks by. Like, ah, oh, I wasn't expecting the slam pig to walk back by. I, I just gotta stand here awkwardly. If I move, it's gonna look weird. So I just, I'll yeah, wait It's for probably a bit. meaningless. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I wouldn't if I was worry a cop, about it. I would look at every land stander as a suspect. I'm well, always looking for suspects. Odds are one of these one of these land standers is the killer. Exactly. And I feel like they're in a country where someone's name would be land stander. <laughs> this is also Ooh, true. This is, yeah. Now, Hesh wants to finish the case. Before or after sex? During. Not easy to stop picky. <laughs> he's all about the job, Daniel. Even when he's, you know, he's focused. Now, my, my next note here is uh, Buke Caved. Who's Buke? Oh, Bukake? Bukake That's, is I, one of the other political uh, yeah, figures. He's a, po- po- he's a political guy. He likes. Um, he was that he guy was the, playing hardball. Yeah, he's like, oh, it's disgusting her. that the he PM plays is hardball. doing this to you. He does. It, it kind is of like disgusting. a little bitch. Now, this is, something was going on here where I'm starting to think that maybe the political family were following uh, Rosa Steen. It's like, were they abusive? Are they? What, what's, what's, what's going on here? Steen is uh, Steen's going to go get Gustav a gun for protection. Well, he should have. What? Where do you get that? What? No, he wasn't. What are you talking about? I'm just, I was adding on to their conversation. <laughs> <they were having. laughs> what? <laughs> I don't remember this. He was going to. He was going to enroll Gustav in ninja school so that then he wouldn't be able to get abducted, but he was just too slow. Turns out, though, uh, uh, he should have got him that gun. Well, should uh, whatever. Then, Gustav can't look, shoot. Next, though, it's like burger in a movie, romantic, but cricket lingers in the doorway. Are these all the same scene? What's happening here? It's been a week. Okay, okay so here, you're, 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 you're partially has walked right. Into, husband has walked into wife's job because she forgot Ooh, her keys. Not cool. Oh, yeah. Why is that not cool? Okay. You, you just you, walk into my place of work. You've never had this happen to you. It is a sacred space where you're having an affair and I, and you are bringing in other vibes. She forgot, it, it she forgot vibes. her keys. I have a, how'd she, she get to doesn't, work? She doesn't, she has a driver. A good driver. How's she going to get in the house? A transporter. She just knocks. He's going to be there anyway. He drinks. That's he doesn't, doesn't anywhere to go. fucking work. You're right. All unlocked. But, but this she's gave like, him somewhere to go. I, I know. And he's like, Steen, what the hell do you want? And he's like, oh, I'm not drunk. I think you're right. Also, I'm not drunk. We have to protect Gustav. So I will take down the murder. I'll slowly take down the murder board. I'll start with the <laughs> yarn. I'm going to leave the photos just, just to be clear. Because uh, I took a Gustav lot of effort. Gustav isn't drunk either. Also, Gustav is just a little... Just to be clear, Gustav we is also drunk. Together. We were drinking together. And Jiminy Cricket is on the side watching them have their little like little kiss and i'm like oh shit that aid looks pretty jealous and his skin's flaking off and then we cut back to uh thulin and hess and they're all like there were two reports about selfish whores yeah and hess starts calling out the child services dude because they didn't yeah. follow up on the reports they did oh okay so no they they followed up on the reports the problem but they didn't was do anything. they declared them investigated and they cleared that they didn't do anything Mm. Right, and now the guy's like, oh, I'm sorry, and then has to, like, apologize to the girls who got the shit kicked out of him and the boy who was abused. Yeah. Now, I combing through anonymous child abuse reports has to be one of the most extremely depressing tasks I've ever heard of in my life. It's a living. Is it? I mean, when we were copying those, like, uh, those legal court case documents for that, like, Westlaw stuff back in the day with that little side gig... That was depressing enough as it is. And that wasn't all just focused on that. But there was like a, there were a few where did they touch you on the doll like moments. Where did they touch uh, you? It's not good. It's not good. It's a messed up world out there. 
And I'm just like, that just, what's the, what's the, like, suicide rate in that job? Five. Gotta be, gotta be high. Now, look, I feel like they both took out the same five file, uh, five files. That seems like an actual abuse is happening. Like, they just. Well, they, they did. That's, that's, that's impressive. That means that they, the. Their, the, their investigative, is, their investigative styles are in sync. They're locked. In sync. They're in bye, sync. Bye, bye, bye. Next note, class culture, class welfare. It's very important. And to me, this also, is what an do you interesting think of this conversation. Dumpster? Do you like, like it? It's, Does it look sturdy? Okay, look, I got, I got big Pearl vibes from this guy, okay? So he's, t- he's going to town on his slam pig there, and then he gets oh. done with her. He's like, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she's a scarecrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, so I was confused as hell watching this, what was happening. Did that not happen in the book? It happens in the book, but it's explained in the book. That there's what, what's there some to explain? affair. How's it not explained here? He's taking her to pound town against a dumpster. So there, there's a there's a lead up to this. So and, and he, she takes him out, and he's like, "What the hell? You cannot be bringing your daughter here. You got to stop following me." And she's like, "No, no, so no, no, no." She no. wasn't in that class. <laughs> it's entirely possible this is the first it. time. Yes. And um, oh yeah, she like drops his pants and starts going down on him, and he is so overwhelmed with what should we? Let's let's use some engorged with emotion, okay? Oh shit. Oh yeah. Also, this is supposed to be their first bout of intercourse. No, no, no. This, no, they've been banging for a while. He's, I guess, called it off or something because he's married. Oh. Anyway, he's so happy about it. He flips her around and you know does the dishes. But when he's finished, he comes to his senses because you know because <laughs> you know you're you're in the moment. But he then, was taken with the wrong brain. But then you blow and you're like, oh wait, I'm married. Smack. And then it's I just, forgot. And then she's like, stick that Audi up your ass. It's all I. I'm like, I guess people like this exist, but it was very weird to me. Then I'm like, if she dies, though, because she's like, walk, like he locks, go back inside, and the door locks behind them, and she's like, what are weird, these doors? Know, under, underground parking structure? I don't know. So she's walking down these, these tunnels, and she's being followed by the mysterious figure, and I'm just like, if she dies, where is her abusive male partner? Is it that, the, that guy, or does she have someone else? Because I don't think that guy's really going to be in the kid's life. I don't think you like, need one. I don't think it's needed. Well, up till now, we've had him. Yeah, I'd say so. That's a slight change. I think it was just a coincidence that the other ones had one. Now our heroes found her though. Found they find her. her. They find her quick. Found. Yeah. She. Well, it was quick. She stumbles out in the street, and the cops are already there. And they're like, "Oh, there she is! God, we're good." And Hesh wants sex because he can <laughs> smell it on him. Yeah. Okay. Now we get for like, movie night with the boys. Well, first off, they're like, "What? What are you saying?" And it's like, "We're saying that you're a bad mom, so you're gonna get killed next." And she's like, well, I did feel like I was being followed. I, re- I heard footsteps that stopped whenever I did. And I'm just like, is that an echo? Is that how an echo works? Like, you're no. in these big empty tunnels stomping around. Wouldn't they stop every time you stop? No, you'd still hear it, like, after. Because it's going, it's continuing. Yeah, because it's going, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, who, who the fuck leaked that they opened the case back up? Steen. No, not yet. I don't think that's happened yet. That I- hasn't yet, because the reporter shows shows up at their fucking house and is badgering Steen at his door. He would have gotten his ass kicked in the U.S. of A. <laughs> yeah, he's all like, hello, would you like to make a statement? And Steen's all like, look, my son is home. We want to see a movie. Go away. And Ain't burgers. It- and it won't go away. He's, he's out there. And then it's, it's all the sh- shark in the side. water. And you're like, oh, no. And it's all shit. And then he broke Christine's handprint thing. He's got to get glue. And he's yelling at... Get the glue, boy! Get, get, get the fucking glue! Get the glue! Get the glue! And he's all like, no, I'm going to a friend's house, you angry drunk bastard. Okay, he yeah, didn't, he didn't say that, glue. but he said it. And he was drunk, too. We're all drinking. And Hesh came for dinner. Hesh came now for Hesh sex. Hesh eating grandpa's <laughs> food. But it turns out, that's not the real grandpa. And I'm heartbroken. It doesn't matter. It's the one who takes care of him. I told you it wasn't the real grandpa. You didn't tell me shit. Hey, hey, mommy, why'd you break up? Why'd you break up with Sebastian? Because he was a crab. Oh, I want Sebastian. You suck. You wanting Sebastian is part of the problem. You're right. (laughs) It's part of the problem. Now let's have awkward Hess dinner. Yeah, awkward Hess dinner because grandpa ain't here yet. He's eating grandpa's food. Turns out grandpa's just, uh, what, like a cop mentor that helped take her in. She was younger. Something like that? Something like that. Something like that. The daughter says something horrible, because I typed down, Hesh's wife died, you nosy, inconsiderate brat. Oh, well, yeah, she, she says, tell me how. It. Tell me how. She got cooked alive. Tell me alive. how she died. 
And then my next note is TIE Fighters, and I don't understand that. Okay. TIE Fighters. TIE Fighters. I think TIE there was a fighters. pattern on something, and it looked I like TIE Fighters. I don't know what that means. <laughs> there was a pattern on something, and they looked like TIE Fighters. That's what it is. I, TIE Fighters. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah. Now, now uh, Naya, she's going to be bait. We're baiting again. It's the old switcheroo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in position. Yeah, everyone is in position, dog. We're prof- we're all in position here. They made her get in that lady's clothes. She all and, like hold a fake she all baby. Slam pig skank stank. Whoa! Oh, the Whoa. clothes. Oh. The clothes have the stank. The Ryan, clothes. Right? Oh, that's because yeah. the clothes. Yeah, yeah. It's the clothes she wore. Got slammed in them. Yeah. It's that dumpster. Garbage. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And that's the that's a fucking doll. If I ever saw one being carried. Uh, yeah, fuck doll. She goes into her place and she's like, this is a nice place for me to poop on the floor. Jeez. <laughs> nice place for me to poop on. <laughs> exactly. I looked at this apartment and I went, you know, maybe the killer has a point with this one. So what's, so what's the plan? What's the plan? Okay. Well, here's the plan, baby boy. The plan is Thulin has taken her place. So we're going to convince the killer because we think it was the killer stalking her. We're going to convince the killer it's her. So when the killer shows up, we swat his ass. We swat him. We swat now. him. We see a uh, creepy hooded figure in the stairwell. The stairwell. That he had to wait for people to come out to sneak in there because he didn't have a key. So, like, this guy's sus already. Why aren't they just jumping on him? Because he goes, he waits outside the apartment and then goes up further and then comes back down. And then he knocks on the door and then they jump his ass. And it's the Asian dude from the banging earlier. He came back to get some more. It's the Audi man. He's, he's not out. He's in. Well, so in the in the book, this threw me a little bit because Thulin, when she's going, she can't access the elevator because there's something wrong with it. So she has to take the stairwell to go up. And on the stairwell, she passes a couple and they have hoods on as they're coming down. So in my head, I'm thinking I was always thinking it was one person, but it would be a lot easier if this was like a duo situation taking care of business. So I'm like, aha, duos, taking duos, care yeah. of business. I'm like, aha, so it's these two, but they've made out that this is a a, a setup, and so they're out. But that didn't happen here. And in the book, when the guy comes, uh, they're, they're on radio telling her, yeah, he's in the hallway and she thinks she hears a knock. And so she like turns the radio off because she's a fucking moron. And she opens the door and goes out into the hallway and tilts around, doesn't see anything. So when she turns around, he comes out and like smacks her in the back of the head and is like, you give me those pictures or I'll fucking kill you. But then she elbows him twice in the nose and like hog ties him down. And, you know, it's pretty. I wish they had done that because that would have been amazing. Yeah, that would have been nice. Awesome. But that would have shown her being kind of an idiot. Well, these police aren't really good police. Okay. okay. These are the best Nana Beards that Nana Beard has to offer. We've, we've established that the police force in this region is not great. So by their standards, though, they're, they're showing up. They almost get to this, you know crime happening on time oh go we should have mentioned that so since naya is taking the place of her in the apartment they have put this woman and her daughter where have they taken they've taken to like a holiday rental yeah so they put her in sort of a, like a witness protection type situation maybe sort of yes or no yeah well kind of yeah. like that i think it's but and martin riggs is there martin riggs <laughs> he's there <laughs> it's there he's Murtaugh, on his pod don't know where he is He's Jansen's like, out, get, out getting a pizza. Gotta get a pizza, which I like pizza. Yeah, it's fine. Now, while uh, we're in the, doing the, the bait and switch there, Steen goes on national television. He accepts that interview prompt. And that's going on while this is all happening as well. So that's all bad. It's, it's fine. All he says is, I think my daughter's still alive. Give her back. Hey, I think my daughter's still alive. If you've got my daughter, give her back. If you have give information on where I could get another drink, you can call this number or just leave it at my doorstep. Thanks. Give me Thanks. another daughter. Give me another daughter. Any daughter. Now, look, they're just, they're dumb. Okay, car alarm goes off. And Rick's goes up, looks out oh, the door. Well, well, Kenny, he was kicking it on Pornhub before, so his brain again. I don't think he was. I think he was just browsing the internet. I'm afraid to tell you, Daniel. A hundred percent confirmed. Oh, <laughs> Pornhub, uh, based okay. on the book, because it, it, well, it then says that is highly oh, she, she unprofessional. She caught me on the Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> she caught me oh, on the no, Pornhub. Oh no, Morty! I'm on a stick out, Morty. I'm on Pornhub, <laughs> Morty. I'm sure with just a smidgen of effort, he could have just been. 
going to town right there with, with that the, was actually one of his fantasies he's never had like sex with a witness in protection situation he's like oh here he comes, shouldn't be here comes the skank is tonight gonna be the night oh no now she's just so fucking whiny oh what's that car alarm i better go look oh no he gets a call from hess and hess is telling him don't leave they uh, don't leave the yeah, room tell, and he's like don't leave Bitch, you don't get to tell me what to do. You've been saying I fucked up that original investigation. I didn't fuck up shit. You don't tell me what to do. Click and oh, I'm gonna go invest. I'm gonna leave and investigate that car alarm. Uh oh. I'm starting to think they fucked up that original investigation. I think they might have messed up that original mm. investigation. I'm like, especially you... with that other stuff we learn in like the next episode. <laughs> Haven't they seen the movie Copycat with Sigourney Weaver? I mean, this is a classic. This is a classic. It's a classic copycat situation. Everyone always says so. Why did he just hit the button? From the door. That's, and then go back inside where you're locked and safe. That's because I, I, I think whoever whoever did it knows knows how to do it. Uh, whoever did it knew that the detectives left in charge of these people is a fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. That's what I was starting to think after this. Yeah. TIE fighters. I guess the... What? Is that? It's Je- her, so the mom's name is Jessie, and she's like in the cabin in the front door, and the alarm stops. So for some reason, she decides to go look. And she doesn't shut the door. And Jesse's girl's left there. She is. And now well, the door's shut. Well, then the door shut. shuts, so yeah. while she's out there, she's locked out. She's all locked cool. out. And I'm like, and your there's daughter a little chest. There's a little chestnut man at the stoop of the door. Yeah, and I, you know what I say every time I see one of those now? What do you Aww. say? Chestnut man! <laughs> <laughs> every time. Arms <laughs> in the air, like I'm done it's... <laughs> bum, 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 bum. And I'm already like... Okay, you're going to lose two hands and a foot, lady. And uh, look, yeah. They had one job and couldn't do it. That chick died under their watch. So, maybe you should have just had like they one They figure more that officer. it's going to be a switcheroo, so they all drive maybe up over there. Maybe a few more cops. Like they had two, one to get pizza and one on Pornhub. Maybe have a third to just Maybe have a third to do their do fucking job. Do their fucking job. Yes, Daniel. <laughs> but they find her. She's dripping, but no pulse. Yeah. Just missed him. They find Jesse's girl though. She's fine. Oh, she's fine. And in the book, Jesse's looking out mine. the out the door and sees mommy like strung up, and they're like, "Oh no!" And they're like, "Oh Don't yeah, look. oh yeah." And Hess is all like, "Oh shit, yeah." So at this point, Kenny, episode three. Who do you? Th- so who, what are your theories? What's going on? I even though I don't believe it, I'm still just rolling with the uh, a forensic suit. Forensic suit. There's a lot of other you know plausible suspects and they're gonna keep throwing out red herrings left and right that's what these shows do so why not just stick to my first ridiculous assumption the note i got in the book is at this point i am convinced it has to be a cop because well so forensic guy would fit forensic guy it just has to be someone in the department because only that would make sense to me for how they would know where they were putting yeah uh, jesse and where what the setup was going to be for the switcheroo and who was going to be on stakeout with Jesse and the daughter, and it would, and a cop would have been able to get close to other cops in order to take them out. So in my head, up to this point, I'm like, oh, it's one of the cops. They have to have some sort of source. Yeah, it or- could be like a a crime scene guy who just is always walk, like a photographer, news guy that's just always walking around. And maybe you see a glimpse of him once in the movie early on, and you just don't pay attention to, it and you don't realize that that's a famous actor that you should probably be paying attention to their presence. Are you yeah, griping yeah, about no- perdition? Hmm? Hmm? He didn't. He didn't notice Brad Pitt earlier. You didn't notice uh, Kevin Spacey walking around. You didn't notice me. Oh, I thought you were Senpai. doing The Road to Perdition with Tom Hanks. That is a good movie, but no, I was doing <laughs> oh, Seven. Oh, that photographer guy. Yeah, wasn't he just like a like a crime scene photographer type? Uh, I think dude? he or something was something like that. Yeah, like he didn't actually work for the police, but he was had an excuse em- to employed be employed somehow things. with them. Yeah, but also yeah, part of the mob. We're all part of the mob metaphorically speaking so yeah that's how that ends and it's a pretty big bummer in the book as well it's like oh shit i mean it's a little bit of a bummer jesse's gonna have a better life now she's not gonna be thrown into six different ballet classes and not know what the goddamn dance is (laughs) (laughs) i mean how can you yeah exactly is this rumba is this cha-cha what am i doing this week mom who are you banging this week yeah thanks for looking up for her but who's gonna watch her now? Is she gonna go live with the Asian dude? Why would she live with the Asian dude? Uh, he's, a be- he's, he's got, got guilt. He's got an Audi. He's the married. Yeah, so there's a good support 
system already. She's set gonna up live with Axel. Her. Everybody, that's the <laughs> nation's grandpa. Everybody lives with Axel. Everybody lives with Axel. Axel and his foliage. He's a yeah. Well, how, who are you think? Well, okay, but Dan already knows who it is. But Dan, go back to when you originally watched this. Who did you think, think it I was? Had, I don't think I had a suspect. Because you weren't even critically trying to think about it. You're just enjoying the moment, right? I don't like, think I was enjoying it, but... <laughs> How about now? <laughs> it's fine. Is it? Eh. Man, I had so many theories up till now. I was like, okay, it's someone at their school who saw the abuse and was like, nah, nah, yeah, I'm going to teach you all a lesson. And I'm like, no, okay. Do you think Christine was abused? So the Christine thing is, I wasn't sure how that fit in at this point. Now, I said this earlier, and so I'll say it again now that we're talking about episode four. Uh, I still suspect that Rosa is the girl from the opening scene. Okay. And when she came back and said, like, she was a foster child as well, and then her foster parents died, that further makes me think that's who it is. <laughs> so they're going way out of their way to make me think that. Here's my so problem. They... So in, in Nana Beard, one more each, thing. Each episode, <laughs> one, more, one more thing, one more thing. Each episode, you're learning something new about Nana Beard. Like, oh, Nana Beard was had had a boyfriend and he sucked and did this. Oh, Nana Beard was helping her teacher do that. Oh, Nana Beard did this on the weekends. Oh, Laura Palmer did this. Oh, Laura Palmer did that. <laughs> it is, but we're not getting anything for anything, any of that. You're getting. I see. What would? What are you getting? No, you're. It's more. You're not learning anything about the Christine case. I'm starting to think this isn't a Nana Beard at all. Christine doesn't matter. It's it's Ro it's Rosa or whatever. She's what matters, right? Rosa's the mom. Yeah, and she's right. what matters. But Even she, in I hope it, another Nana that's Beard what is, saying. in Fortitude, you also learn things about people and stuff. So <laughs> here I feel like it, we're not learning things. Fortitude, we're not learning good, things so. about people and I stuff. I guess Daniel, the thing Was is, Fortitude good. Fortitude's good. Yeah, it looks good. In, in a Nana Beard. It's going to tell you the new information. In this, you have to kind of infer it. And, and, but it's not information about what's... You, are you calling me stupid? I'm saying... He's saying you got to do their jobs for them. You got to know that at this point, if it's not someone in the police department, this makes no sense. I feel like no matter what happens, it's going to make no sense. Or it's someone who has hacked in to the police department. But that seems oh, like a much, cheat. That much seems like, like Linus? A, yeah, but that seems like a cheat. But, but they already that we've established in this episode, someone did that. Mr. Becker. I mean, maybe we said that earlier. Yeah, I think that's number. Four. Yeah, Becker. well, that comes out in four. Becker. That's what we're talking about now. Ah, fucking Becker. God damn so, it. So go for it. Talk. You lead this one. So you're what you're saying, Dale, is you want to just you want to just stop Chesty Boy now and just start Twin Peaks, and we not finish. No, Chesty I think Boy we would be having like, a better time with Fortitude. Honestly, I look. It looked good. That was on my to watch list. So Chesty Boy episode four. First opens up with Hesh not going to be able to get any work done on his flat if he's watching murder videos on YouTube. Now, Daniel, that might look familiar, like maybe that popped up in the group text uh, last night because I was going back and forth uh, between taking my, my notes. I didn't look at my phone, so... Uh, well, if you look, it was another classic case of I accidentally typed a show note into the fucking group text. It's <laughs> not into my note. <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> classic Kenny. It happens. Oh. Because they're so out of context. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, 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 I did see that and just didn't understand what was happening. Because <laughs> Jason's, Jason's talking about Lost, and then you're just like, not going to get work done on the flat if you're watching murder videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I say at 4.09 a.m., why the fuck is there snow outside? You do. Oh, yeah. Now, the okay, so Naya is walking outside Hesh's apartment and she's like waiting to get in and the the property manager goes up he's like yeah and he never locks it you just you walk go, in you go in there i do so, so they just walk in there yeah <laughs> it's like oh yeah you want to buy the place you know and it's like ah oh, we, we just painted it he sees hesh has hung porn pictures all over the walls it's like it's okay we got to put up a second coat if you know what i'm saying this is murder board it's not porn pictures i tricked you guys and uh, Naya's like, man, you didn't come to the meeting. You didn't answer the calls. Are you all good? While well, that's all going down, baby boy, it's like, dad, we have to go play Monopoly. And he's like, dad's like, oh, shit, you're right. Sorry, I can't intrude in your space any longer. We have to go play Monopoly. Did they go play Monopoly in the book, Ryan? I, I don't remember them ever mentioning having to go play Monopoly. 
I'm it surprised mean they, it leave happen, his, but they leave his apartment to I play Monopoly. I thought they would have just have brought it over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you know we what? We were actually here to play Monopoly with Hesh. With, with Hesh, yeah. I mean, around him, really. He just kind of sits there, but we move <laughs> his pieces for him. <laughs> we, we cheat sometimes, but he doesn't sometimes. know. Sometimes. He doesn't know. He's not a very good detective. He's not a good detective, yeah. Now, this is where Hesh is saying, look, it's all about Rosa. It has been since the beginning. Looking at the video footage of stuff uh, around Christine's disappearance, and there's a chestnut man bah, bah, bah. In the, uh, on the bag or whatever on the ground. It's like, oh, look at it. It's all laying there suggestive and stuff. And chestnut man's back in time. And then we cut to the police precinct, right? Or do we already notice Linus in the video here? That's that, they've noticed that at the, pre- at the precinct. Yeah. But it's like, how bad are y'all to not notice, to the not notice one, that your killer the confessed is in the video that you that, have that you have and i don't well, think it's that long of a video why wouldn't it be two there mi- it's like two minutes in look daniel why would we continue to look into a case that someone has confessed to also, but that's like standard thing because people do false confessions all the time yeah, yes, yeah but also but killers they're not paid for getting the correct person in prison they're paid for just getting a person in prison i just thought that was here you're telling me that's everywhere everywhere oh my god look, Killers will also go back to a scene of a crime, okay? They like that right, shit. Right, but they didn't even know that he... But they didn't... Sure, if they had, like, uh, just assumed that was the case, but they didn't even know he was there. Part of the reason they booked him is because he said, yeah, I was driving around the country with her in the car at this point in time. And then who's... When he's clearly there in the video at Unless that point in time. Unless he's bilocating. You didn't think of he's that, bi- did you? Just like he's he's bi- crazy. He never... You can't believe he is. that. The mo- that like, y- you know how brains are weird with time? We can't tell what time it is. The important time. thing is he said he did it. And the important thing is at the end of the day, there is a hatchet in his garage. Machete. Okay. Machete. In his garage. With, blood, with blood With Christine's blood on it. But now you take the bone fragment information no, that we know. No, no, no. Back you take that, that information. No, 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 the blood no, no. was still on it. The blood was still on it. He, but, maybe he didn't hack her up so like he said. These forensics is bad, too, because the forensic department also got killer. hacked by Linus to show him the picture, right? Because he's a killer. If it turns out to be the forensics guy, that's going to be great. That's the biggest <laughs> fucking no-look, 360 no-scope, half-court shot. Oh, from you? Yeah. <laughs> from you? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we'll we'll get to the talk with Linus here in a bit, but first we gotta go back to the police precinct because look, look, we all loved Martin Riggs. Okay, we all loved Martin. <laughs> he, a, he was a hell of a guy. He showed me how to do guy. the algorithm on Pornhub to get all the good stuff. Like you, yeah, what I some want, people think you just go want, in there blind and check, like browse through it, but no, 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 you gotta create a profile. There's categories. There's, I had to create cate- my Netflix profile, and it's like pick three shows. And you guys want to know uh, what three I picked? Can you guess what three I picked? Community. That wasn't one of the uh, options. Oh shit! Um, I wasn't Stranger a fan. Things. I wasn't a fan of the options. That that was one of the options. Did you pick it? Yeah. Stranger okay, Things. Stranger Things. X Files. Um, not one of no, the it's options. Not a Netflix not option. One of the- oh, Netflix. Um, I don't know what's on Netflix. Um, Hannibal. No. Chestnut Man. Chestnut no. Man. Uh, what are the other big Netflix shows? These don't even have to be Netflix shows. Just stuff on Netflix. Oh. That are like popular. Shows, that, okay, it was Gilmore Girls, guys. It was Gilmore. Girls. Uh, okay. Oh, and what was the third one? We're bad detectives. Um, this was that was an obvious. I didn't know Gilmore Girls was still on Netflix. I didn't know it was still on. They keep raising the prices and dropping the content. I don't remember what the third one was. Witcher. I if that was an option, but I was like, like you should have just let me pick one because I just wanted to pick Gilmore Girls. Why pick anything at all? Just let me watch. Just let me, just put Gilmore Girls on now. Let the boy watch. <laughs> Let the boy watch Gilmore Girls. Let the boy watch Gilmore Girls. Let the boy watch Gilmore Girls. And everyone says, why? Dean! <laughs> we all loved Martin Riggs. We okay? all loved him. He was, he was the we best all, of us. A minute of silence. Insert silence here. It's past. The show didn't even try. And it look, Jansen, Janssen, he's blaming Hesh. I don't Riggs see how you can blame dying. Hesh. Because it was his plan. Because he's drunk. But you know what? <laughs> The chief, he's the, the one but didn't, who said, but it was it was the it was la- lady's plan. I thought, no, look, it was Hesh. Okay, yes, no, but Daniel, no, it but, was her. Okay, in the show, they can't have him. Well, 
really like trying to punch her in the book they could he goes after well he oh. actually just yell, calls her a cunt and calls him a i think like a fucker whoa but but, whoa. but, the, but the police boss is like yeah, that shit stops now it's was my you call. don't you don't do yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. nylander's yeah. fucking nylander house. nylander's is the, the fucking man. he's, he's like, wrong -uh. a lot <laughs> He's no, a good boss. My letter's like, it was a good operation. You guys just suck at your jobs. Chief, I think he's a chief or something. He's on board. Commish Commissioner Highlander, he is on board. <laughs> Commissioner Landstander <laughs> approved this. <laughs> yeah. Commissioner, not just a bystander, was all on board. Now go eat some pizza. We're celebrating. We closed the case. <laughs> we closed the case. Martin, wait, we haven't closed it yet. Well, we gonna, close it. He's going to get some pizza go. later. But now we're going <laughs> Yeah, what happened to that pizza? We never found fucking, out. <laughs> We're jumping back to the, he pops on screen, I'm like, this guy fucking creeps me out, fucking cricket. <laughs> He's on screen again. <laughs> and they're, what, well, they're wanting to interrogate Rosa. Eh, interrogate, you know, question her, like, hey, look, because they finally get the, they get the go ahead from a uh, bystander. And he's like, yeah, look, I already talked to him. I told him you're coming. Before they even asked, before he would never let him talk to As her. Good boss. Like, yeah, he's good there. It. Like, he's good changed. Boss. You know, he's a good, flexible cop. Uh, and she's like, hey, what would anybody be calling you a murderer? Like, why would anybody be calling you a murderer? And you're like, well, I don't think I have any enemies. I was a foster child myself. Uh, but I like, you know, I was, you know, the spearheading this uh, protect these kitties program. And, you know, obviously people lose their kids, you know, because they're bad parents. Uh, you know, <laughs> like, they get cough, real cough. mad at you. And uh, they're like, oh, damn, you got any cases that you could think of that where they'd be, like, real mad at you? And it's like, I could think of a few freaky freaks. Like, we'll go through all the cases, and we'll find them freaky freaks. But the important thing is she said she was a foster child herself. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's why I'm like, was she the kid under the table? That's a foster kid. That was. And then my next note is... So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> but I think that's because um. they're saying something with no no way in hell. I don't remember what it was. Oh, because the, the St Steen asks them, so there, is, there oh. a, is there a chance that my daughter's still out there alive? And they're like, nah. <laughs> and, but they're like, He's like, not in like, a million you're not years. Sure. You're not so, sure, But though. in a million but in one a, one years. But in a billion years, <laughs> maybe? That's all I was thinking was the fucking dumb and dumber. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't, because uh, uh, Nia even says the worst, the cruelest thing these people could do to you is give you hope. And That's like, why yeah. they're all like, nah, she dead. She dead. We're not going to give you hope. And uh, freaking Hesh wants to say there's a chance because he thinks she's still out there. But he, even he has to, like, bite his tongue and be like, ah, ah, let us know if you figure something out, man. Okay. <sighs> now. They realize that Linus is on the video, so they bust into the the, the most square lab. building ever made. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, perfect angles there. And they bust in there to the forensics guy, and they're like, "Do you have time?" And he's like, "No, I got to do something for Nylander." And they're like, "Okay, but here's the video. You're fucking watching it." <laughs> he said he didn't have time. To be fair, it didn't take that long. It didn't. Well, then they see Linus Baker, and I'm like, "Why do they need him to watch the video?" To show him, I don't know. Like, hey, this doesn't match up with the info. I guess not only is he the forensics guy, but he's the guy who has to pull up all the evidence from past cases. I or think something. this guy's I overworked. Overworked, underpaid, maybe he doesn't get to go on enough jogs. <laughs> jogs. They, they wouldn't say, they would say yog. Yogs. I went yogging with Jensen. Now, Daniel, I don't know about you, but every time one of these random creepy white guys pops up on screen from a previous episode, does it take you a second to remember who the fuck they were? Because I'm uh, like, okay. which creepy white guy are you talking about? We're talking Linus Baker now, but for the first like couple seconds that they're showing him, I'm thinking, is that the guy who had Magnus in the basement? Oh, okay. Um, and then they both kind of have like second. skinny faces, but no, because I I'm, I'm good at dudes. like context clues. Mm. Oh, so this is you trying to defend yourself to Ryan, saying you knew what was going on. He's trying to call you dumb earlier. Well, no, he just inferred it. Ah, see, mm. I told you I'm good at picking up on context <laughs> clues. Mm. Mm. Well, that's when we established that Linus wasn't where he said he was, even though he confessed to it. Yeah. Now, this is we get the crickets walking out with Rosa, and Rosa's like, I'm not going to read that statement, man. I agree with Steve. And Linus sings the chestnut song. Well, that comes up when we interrogate. Later, yeah. Okay, we're not there. We're not there yet, goddammit. Infer this. Wait, what? <laughs> How are we not there? Infer the political intrigue. 
This is where Rosa is walking out with Cricket. He's before that. No, we don't do the interrogation. You before just that. said though. No, I said we'll get to the interrogation. I'm saying they see him in the video, mm. and in his report, his statement when he confessed, he said he was oh, okay driving with the I'll body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Infer it. I'll, um, I'll, I'll use context clues. I'll understand. Overruled. This is where we're starting to get some of this. Dum, oh, shit. Dum, bum, bum, dum, bum, 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 bum. We get this weird tension between Rosa and Cricket. And he's like, yeah, I wrote the statement. She's like, I'm not going to disagree with my husband here and read that statement. I think she might be alive, too. And he's like, well, I'm telling you as your friend and colleague. And not someone who murdered your daughter and stuffed her in not a trunk. Someone who murdered, or maybe wants to take you to pound town. Definitely wants to that, do that. Well, look, you're, it could cost you your career, man. Hey, my daughter's more important. Now, you should have thought about that before she was kidnapped, just like our Naya should be thinking about that, too, because there's some parallels there, putting the job before your kids and the same person. I don't know, man. But she gets in the car, and then she hollers out, hey, I forgot my laptop in there, blah, 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 whatever. That's weird. And the driver is making, like, a phone call, and that word immediately, he's like, I don't know if we should do this, man. There's a lot of heat on her right now. Like, this seems like a bad idea. We shouldn't do it. And then he's, they show the lady, and I'm like, what the hell is that lady and that dude up to? And I'm like, wait a minute. Was that the bitchy nurse lady? Yes. Yeah! And I'm like, if that's the nurse from earlier, then she did. <laughs> <laughs> and I was kind of right. Oh, she well, something. So in your slow. mind, if you ever run into the same person twice in like an interaction, in a, that's in a TV show, that's that's like suspicious. In a TV show, if she stands right. out in a brief moment of just... You see, he's, okay, he's been trained by uh, what, what, Seven. You know, he's been trained. You murder know. she wrote Mur i mean oh murder but she in like american sure. television it'd be like the uh, super obvious guest star who's like a way bigger named actor than everybody else sometimes you have a super obvious guest star and you just kill him in the first episode though like name one paul time. rudd paul rudd and uh neon joe werewolf hunter what the fuck is that <laughs> okay. why aren't we watching that <laughs> we we should cover neon joe werewolf hunter you put that in the okay. chat so we don't forget <laughs> It's a great show. Okay, you'll love the cast of it. And it's you'll be it's just Chowda. It's fine. Uh so now we know something is actively going on, which is nothing this show does until now. <laughs> and so so something's going on. So now we're inter uh, uh, interrogating Linus again. What's his name? Linus Becker. Linus Becker. 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 And Beck are you a Beckhead? I'm a Beck I'm a big Beckhead. No, this guy creepy. So, they're like, okay, why did you, uh, you're saying you're forgetful for all these things, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, yeah, they helped me remember. And I'm like, who yeah. helped you remember? Is this an American police tactic where they badger <laughs> a witness into He's confessing like, to something because they're mentally disabled? Detective Riggs! Because at first I thought it was, uh, I confess to this on purpose because it's the kind of attention I want and I do better in prison anyway. And I would rather be, like, known for something. But then it's like, oh, no, they said like I did it. So. Stolen valor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, stolen infamy. It is stolen valor. You're right, Ryan. I don't. I don't know if we call that valor. No, we do. Uh, son of a bitch. Did you know? I, I I forget if they mentioned it. They mentioned like so. Becker has committed previous crimes before. Okay. Yes, they mentioned him. He steals crime scene like hacked in, stole crime scene photos. He's into like that shit. That's what they mentioned in is this. Is that illegal? Because uh, I couldn't remember. Uh, well, no. But well, yes, that is. However, he How's did that illegal. A, he did a home invasion and a double rape. A and double rape. He you raped say. a mother and daughter. And oh. I want you to tell me how many years he spent in prison for it. One. There. Yes. They just probably like, look, man, we don't do prisons here, so just don't do it again. None. Three. Three. Well, that's one for each rape. That's that's no, it, rape of the house. The rape, rape of the, of the house when he, the when he entered without permission. You have right. violated my space. I I almost threw this book. <laughs> I'm like, I guess he only did three years. I'm like, are you for a home invasion and double rape? Three years? Are you fucking kidding me? That was long, right? You think that was too long? I'm just like, they're legal. As we keep seeing, they just do things a lot differently over there. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, though, our legal system isn't so like great on when it comes down to punishment. Like someone can do just as much time in prison for having weed as they do murdering someone. Well, 
the weed okay here's the here's, weed here's was alive at the time jaywalking that's a gateway crime he probably jaywalked his way into the weed which is um, a gateway to murder it's yay walking he yay walked is that's a gateway crime into yay. the weed <laughs> <laughs> that's what i say when i do it <laughs> crab walk scuttle 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 yeah, uh, people ain't, look, the punishment for the crimes is so all over the place. We need a set scale. We got to work on that. Jeez. That's bad. Worldwide, apparently. But they badgered a suspect with mental issues into thinking he committed the crime that he remembers no details of. Now I'm imagining them holding a badger up to him and being like, you did this. You and did then he's, this. He's like, it's like a hypnotoad, but it's a badger. And then the, his little eyes are badger twirling. Code. And then he's like, I did this. Yeah. Well, these are the kind of situations that they make all these real life Netflix shows uh, about where like, oh, he's been in jail for 30 years and they made him confess to a crime. But it turns out he didn't do it because they tricked him into saying something and yada, yada, yada. That's, yeah, they that's, literally did that, 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 that with, the, the, with the making a murderer with that kid, with that dude's uh, nephew. Yeah. Pretty sure that dude totally mil- kill- murdered the lady, but they got the nephew who is like special needs. To confess like to. Like, like sweet baby boy. Sweet baby Gustav. boy. Magnus. Gustav. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so that's the path they start going down with this interrogation. But then all of a sudden Linus flips a switch and he's like, just just ask me what you want to know. It's because he's ask, got fucking... Why did, you, why did you confess to a crime you didn't commit? Up to this point, though, we're thinking that he thinks he committed it. It's a prima fierce thing. It, but, you know, yeah. He, yeah. He's... I... Got the impression, like, he's fucking just fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah, because then he's like, yeah, chestnut man! And it's like, yeah, and I, I was part of his plan all along, I guess. And then <laughs> guess. Hesh ain't playing around. Hesh, Hesh grabs him, like, where is, where is the girl? Uh, Where's Rachel? Where's Rachel? <laughs> and Hesh is, like, fighting him, and then, like, the cops bust in there and bust Hesh off of, uh, bust Hesh off of Nutman's little busted nut I'm bust about to bust off of bust. No, so, I can't okay hold on this is the best tongue twister I've ever heard but, I'm about to bust a hess all over that nut man you know what I'm saying oh Daniel can does it does it flawlessly say it I, I, I don't feel well <laughs> bust a hess all over the nut man just nut my drugs have worn off my throat hurts real bad and I'm tired and I want to go to bed mm. so that I don't think you're supposed to put your hands on the on the inmate there either. No but, contact. Yeah, that's classic cop move. No is touch. That button. There's like a button on that table. Uh, that table doesn't look like it's hooked up anything. Was that just like a, a GG button? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. It was like, a, it was a, it was a, a GG the batteries button. are really low too. That's why you didn't hear it. That's why you didn't hear. It. Uh, well, not a so, lot of winning anymore. We get now we're back. And uh, we're, it turns out they missed some phone calls while they're in there, and we got a tip from the secretary. So, okay, so so after interrogation scene, Kenny, what do you think is the relationship between Linus Becker and the killer? I think the killer just found someone that was like the cops did. They're like malleable, like can just easily get them to fall along and do what they needed to do. You need a you need a fall guy. What is it, a, a patsy? Mm. Is that what it is? Patsy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Scape, scapegoat, literally, scapegoat. yeah, scapegoat, uh, scapegoat. Boat. Are you saying escape goat or escape boat? <laughs> it's escape goat. <laughs> it's escape it's boat. boat. You know what? A boat can take you more places, though. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent said a, boat. It's a scape <laughs> goat, not an <laughs> escape boat. <laughs> it's a scape boat, not an escape okay, goat. Okay, <laughs> but I think Ryan's right. Goat doesn't I, I, make sense. Boat no, no. does. <laughs> I think you saw hey, that. Uh, age old language question, one. Kenny. <laughs> he got not one, but both of the words wrong <laughs> in the in the phrase. <laughs> uh, no, it's a good thing you stopped being a lawyer because we were sitting there talking to the judge and be like, "Your Honor, Your Honor, he was being used as an escape boat." <laughs> <laughs> I won many a case that way, you son of a bitch. How dare you? How dare you challenge yeah, my tactics? Yeah, because you just confused. <laughs> <laughs> I come in, I put my knuckle up to my forehead, and I go, oh, jeez, your honor, my client's escape <laughs> over here. <laughs> now, I'm just a small town bird lawyer. And boy lawyer. Uh, 
And I'm oh, here to tell you my client's been an escape boat. He's actually an Apache helicopter this whole time. You know, it's funny you mention oh. it. There have been times when judges just kind of looked at me. That's because <laughs> so like, you, don't, you don't talk good, <laughs> son. I'm, well, uh, one more thing, Your Honor. One more thing. Uh, uh, you think my client might have just been an escape boat? <laughs> like, like one of them quiet ones with the paddles that sleek off into the night? You know, if they had more escape boats, maybe uh, Satanic maybe they both would have been on this. <laughs> I think that I think them crashing into that uh, iceberg was really the biggest escape boat at all because I think they're, they're hiding drugs on that thing. On the iceberg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How dare you look at me? <laughs> oh, this hurts. hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's swelling up a little bit. Uh, um. Okay. We were <laughs> escape. So got to- <laughs> skateboarding done. So yeah, they missed some phone calls while they're in there interrogating Linus, <laughs> and then apparently there was a tip from the secretary that was looking through all the um the child like removal things with uh, Rosa, and they find this. Uh, particularly disgruntled, what, particularly, particularly disgruntled nurse, uh, lady who. What's she mad about? Uh, she had their child taken away, and then while the child was in foster care, got a lung infection and died. Wow. So wah. I feel like that's just like <clears throat> that's like a huge burden lifted off you. You don't have to feed that thing anymore. That's true. I guess I'm trying to say I don't know why they're mad. Don't know why they're mad. Wrong kid died. They. They find uh they find out that she was locked up or in a mental place for like three years and she has a boyfriend, but they don't know who the boyfriend is yet. But I we already kinda know as the audience, we kinda figure that the driver is the boyfriend. Uh, makes they makes go, sense. Yeah. They find her place, which is like a fucking is it like just a warehouse that she's renting a part of? I didn't understand this. Even in the book, I did not understand this. So Warehouse, they just like I need a, a creepy location. Apartment in it's a room in a warehouse. So there's like a part yeah. of this place where it's a living quarters, and then the rest of it is warehouse. Maybe it's like one of those things where like, we don't want to pay a security guard, but we need someone there all the time to make sure people don't come in here and wreck our empty building. So let's just have a, a live in, like they do at storage unit facilities. Oh, do they? I can I can live in a storage facility. You don't live in the unit itself, but most of those offices have apartments above the office, I and can, you live there. How do if I get so that job? Something. Or you can go to you, Hong you Kong, and we can put you in a container. How do I get the... Yes, do these things! You can't contain that. Sign me up! I mean, the smell, no, because that just comes out, but... I don't out. smell. Uh, baby smell. They but got a freaking shrine. that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for- very They've nice. got a shrine in this uh, warehouse <laughs> apartment to... Well, how do they bust in? The Rosa. It's probably unlocked. Everything's unlocked. I don't remember how they get in there. They kick the door in? I can't actually remember anymore. Who did it? Because in the book, it's the it's uh, Jansen, because he's pissed. Yeah, Jansen and them are already there. Oh, okay. Yeah, in the book... Oh, because... Uh, Go ahead. They didn't even call... Um, the people who got the initial tip were going over didn't even call Rosa or, ha- or uh, Naya and Hesh. Yeah, no, they no, had no, to no, hear no. about it from. Yeah, because they're in, they're uh, interrogating Nylander. creepy McFace. Well, they're like, they had they're... missed phone calls from their boss, but not from not uh, from fucking Janssen. Janssen. Yeah. So he's he was intentionally leaving them out. Okay, so he goes over there in the book. He goes over to there and he's approached by an older woman who opens the door and he's asking, "Are these people here?" And she's all like, "Who the fuck are that? No, these people aren't here. What?" No. And then as she's trying to close the door, he catches a glimpse of a baby carriage and some other stuff in there, like a crib and some other stuff in there. And he's just like kicks, kicks his way in, tells her to shut the fuck up, draws his gun. Classic police stuff, you know? Gotta kick it. I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna kill someone. He's angry. And drunk. And drunk, aren't we all? But important, did he ever get that pizza? That's the thing, Daniel. Daniels want some pizza. There's no pizza over there. There's never been pizza in that country. You see a single pizza in any Nana beer? He was getting in an escape boat to go to a place where they have pizza, Daniel. <laughs> Escaping to a better land. Uh, Italy. Now, uh, so we got, a shrine. we got a shrine to Rosa, so we're like, okay, these guys are definitely going after. But this is too, you wouldn't reveal the killer this early in a show. 
Well, this you is wouldn't the do an early half. reveal. This is episode four. It's, it's still pretty it's early. Not, it's not early. We're, we're there's, only one, one, of, there's only six episodes. It's hard to reveal the killer before the last episode. That probably turns some people off. It would probably make some people just stop watching you, right? Only if yeah, they were underwhelmed so. with the reveal. Yeah, it probably <laughs> was. I, at this point, though, I'm like, all right, these two are involved with what's going on with Gustav, but they seem like fucking idiots. They're not the Chestnut Man. Chestnut Man can't be this fucking dumb. So I'm like, this is just a tangent And he's story. a man made of <laughs> chestnuts. Has, has to be. That's true. Driver is the boyfriend. We've confirmed. They call Steen. Hey, Steen, hey, uh, where's Gustav? Oh, he had, like, some fucking, I don't know, karate class, something, whatever. I'll let the driver take him. It was a tennis, but whatever. it's, like, pitch black the kids outside. Be doing indoor tennis, doll. You can do tennis inside. Tennis inside? In this economy? Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're politicians, dog. They got the money. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, Go- Steen, who <laughs> lost <laughs> his previous daughter, his other kid, <laughs> yeah. is letting other people drive his boy around. Well, it's the driver. It's the driver. Why does he not use the driver to pick him up from school? Because well, he wants to be there drunk for him. <laughs> sometimes you want to drunk drive and pick up your kid from school. What's wrong with oh it? My God. He's We've feel- all been there. Because Okay, well, Kenny, I'll tell you why. Because before, he only had one kid. Now, he might have two. You're saying there's a chance. He, his fo- <laughs> oh, so I don't have to, his focus, don't have to worry about his, he, He's not as focused. His focus is now on, I don't know, somehow conjuring Christine out of the ether because there's nothing really he can do to find her. But God, he's going right to try. comes back. Yeah. Well, Steen's on the fucking case now. Like, Steen, go get him. Instead of just waiting for the cops to go get him. Like, no, Steen, you go get him. How are you going to find out him? There. Yeah, he's tracking him on his phone. All these kids got these newfangled phones that we can track. I'd chip him. That's probably what he did. Probably. You put it in their uh, you put it in the sock. Mm, no, you yeah. put it in their skin. Probably like at the mm, gape somewhere where they wouldn't like touch it, so like I don't know where. Were you about to say the gape of their neck? Was that what you're about to say? Maybe. Because you're touching the nape of your neck. No, I was <laughs> <laughs> the gape. The gape is the front bit. <laughs> I, I was talking the gape of the neck. Is that not <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh God! We do you think they'll add our new words to the, uh, to the dictionary? <laughs> we we need a thesaurus. Uh, th- that's yeah. That's, well, thing. that's my favorite kind of dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> now, what noise does it make, Daniel? <laughs> I'm gonna assume you did it because it looks like you made a mouth noise, but it didn't come through. It Discord. wasn't good. That's I've okay. Done, we'll I've done it. much better. You've done better. Well, look. They switch cars, okay? They got there, they switch in. People seen them get into a gray van, and they threw Gustav's phone on the ground, and that's rude. And that's going on. And the threw it on the time, ground. Naya's having a phone call with Grandpa, finding out that, oh, you you missed the thing, and These you're going to lose your daughter. These phone calls with Grandpa, I feel like he's like... He, he like drops some like bombshell and then's like gotta go <laughs> gotta go and hey, he's she, hey like, uh, she fucking hates you gotta go <laughs> gotta go like i, I oh, don't know what to do me. though she, she wants to live with me <laughs> I gotta, she yeah she's still awake i can't talk exactly <laughs> but uh, then look so she's gonna lose her daughter because she's a cop working hard and driver kidnapped you know gustav I'm like that's why i don't have a driver and then steen's all like oh why don't you why don't you guys screen our drivers blah 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 I was like isn't that your we job that's we don't we, we don't work for you yeah the police don't work for you okay. buddy no but this was the same question i had that the police don't work for him however you're driving a politician around should not the people who employed this driver for that polit shouldn't like a absolutely federal, yeah yeah, yeah. A government yeah, agency but it's, it's, like not the it's local not a police cops, matter though yeah i think it kind of is no, it's not. they could have helped in the vetting no, they have, process. They probably don't even have that being like a lower politician like that. I mean, you don't even get secret sure, service this protection isn't the prime until minister. you're like this a is primary just, like this is, candidate. This is a woman election. whose daughter was abducted and butchered in the woods. That you was think a year give, ago. You know, it's not going to happen to her daughter again. It's, probably. Well, the odds are low that it happens odds, to her daughter again. I mean, but so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance. I just, it's not their job. Go bitch at the pe- go bitch at the driving company. You surely didn't just hire Joe Schmo off the street, probably from a fucking company. Ugh. 
Now they're out there. We're, we're blocking off areas. Our bad guys but, in well, the van are coming. I'm not up. sure what they're even complaining about. He's a good driver. He's a great driver. <laughs> <laughs> they got Gustav in the back. They're up front. They're bitching and moaning. They're like, ah, we shouldn't have done this. They start pulling up. They're going over a hill. They see the cop lights shining over the hill. Like, why do you guys have your lights on? You park. Like, just wait there. Fine. Why even park on the other side of the hill? Saying like, if they just park on the hill, do you, they do you find seen these the weird? These lights weird. Like every yeah, time they show different. them, they're different. They're weird. I think it's CG. Mom CG. <gasps> uh, so they back up <laughs> and they see like a little forest road on the side. They just like, okay, we're just gonna go down this forest road here. You'd think the cops would have blocked in front of the side roads, but it's hidden. I guess there's I only know. so they're many cops. Job. What are you gonna do? The, you know what two. happened? The it's, cop who was gonna block that went out went out, went out to get pizza. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not it like happens. this is an emergency or something, okay? So is they it, go though? off into the woods. All right, they don't have helicopters and shit there. I don't know, man. Whatever. They go off into the woods. They're out there. The, uh, Naya's daughter's like, I'd rather be living with Grandpa. So fair. Yeah, I mean, because I'm happier at his house. She lets me do his hair. She lets me do his hair. We play Monopoly with uh, this real estate property manager guy and his <laughs> kid over at Hesh's house. Grandpa didn't break up with Sebastian. <laughs> That's true. And Grandpa's you're... been fucking Sebastian this whole time. Whole time. And it's like, I'm with Hesh, okay? You're, you're, I'm with Hesh now. And Hesh and wants they... sex, so we gotta get <laughs> the kid Hesh out of here. Sex. So she's all, she's all disappointed about her daughter wanting to go live with Grandpa. And like we'll talk about it later. Hesh is, Hesh is all, they aren't the chestnut man guy, but Hesh is imbalanced. They say he's got a lot of th- stuff going on, and uh, Land Sanders, like, you know, what'd he tell you? Like, oh, his wife died in the fire. Yeah, they had a baby die in the fire, too. Like, what? He didn't tell me that. Oh, man, he's so sad. And then Nylander's like, look, you go check out the warehouse apartment again, and you go over to where they've got Gustav? Is that where he got sent to? Either way, they're splitting the team up. Party's being split. Yeah. Now, we cut to our nurse and driver, and they're arguing. The driver's like, kids like food, babe. Like, I think our kid would have died anyway if you didn't know that. <laughs> we didn't feed it. You didn't, feed, didn't feed it. it. I'm pretty sure you coughed like, up just... its nose, so. Yeah. And its the nose? Driver? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's trying to suck oh, the boogers God. out, but she didn't know how to do it, so she kind of just spit into it. That's how he got the lung infection, man. I've seen those things now. That I saw. I got an ad for one. What? Where, like, a little... pot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, but like you, <laughs> you slurp it, and I'm like, how? How does it not go in your mouth if you're slurping? <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. What? What? We have a thing where you push it in and it pulls out. It's supple. I, this might have been a fever dream, but I feel like I seen an ad <sighs> where for a thing where kind of like how you uh, siphon gas, but you're siphoning out your your baby's nose gunk. Okay. No, that's too much force. You would collapse their lungs. You with your oh, wait. You yeah, suck yeah. it out. Yeah, you no. suck it out. No, 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 no. So many basic forms of is this not a thing? That already do that. It shouldn't be. I'm, I'm not on, saying it isn't. I'm on Nyquil, y'all. I feel like this is a thing. I'm gonna patent it. I'm sucking it up, and I'm getting my baby's immunities from their booger germs. Well, I don't think it another. goes in your mouth. Ma- are you supposed to spit it out like the like the? Oh, gross! I guess. Well, you're supposed to. You Wait. try to stop it from the, getting the gas in your mouth, but we also have things where you don't siphon gas with your mouth. There's a pump. Oh, really? Yeah, just that's and not then as it gets flowing. that's not as it's, cinematic though, right? Oh, uh, it's smarter. Dan- Daniel lives in Jersey. He, does, he doesn't do it anymore. He doesn't know. They don't pump their own gas there. Well, you're, no, I don't yeah. siphon people's gas, Ryan. You look dirty. You look like you're in dirty Jersey. Not the movie, just the place in general. Yeah! Where Devil Man? Where Devil Man at? Where Where Devil Man? He's watching where... these, this couple bickers where he is. Yeah, because they're like the driver's like, look, man, I just let's just give them back. They've been scurred enough, and the nurse's like, oh, you think they've been? Uh, they've suffered enough. Yeah. I'm thinking they really been. They punished? literally lost the whole kid. So technically, you guys are even there. They've lost the kid. Yeah, that just makes that would just make them even. We have to get more than even. Yeah, I don't understand. I think Gr- we have just to be, get That's greater she than sucks, or equal to. She would have made to. a really bad mother. So yeah, Whoa. so she pulls a fucking knife out of the glove box. Uh-huh. That's where gloves go. That's not the knife well, box. It's, it's not the knife box. <laughs> and he's like, "The fuck you doing?" And they go out back and they're arguing. Goose sauce is chilling in the back. You can't really hear anything, but he sees them flopping around back there. And she's got to fucking stab someone. And 
They're like, ah, and there's like a, he gets slashed a little bit, but then like a car randomly shows up in the woods. You say that, randomly. So this, well, it seems kind of odd. Well, now, for them, it would be random. For now, them, it's random. For us, it's like. Somehow this uh, car. For us, it's a normal Tuesday. Normal <laughs> yeah, that's Tuesday. right. This car had to have come from the same inside area that they did, because I'm sure it didn't go through the police barrier. Surely the police. not. So, Unless okay, it is. so the police police remember, if it's the police, the police would it, remember that it could have came through. Otherwise, it would have had to come from the direction they had came from inside the perimeter. Yeah. 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 It's like it was so there waiting down for them. there. Yeah. And it's like they weren't even planning on going down that side road. That's true. They weren't. Oh, someone with a magic eight ball. Yeah. It's on their so dash. Fucking weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we cut away from that. Cut away. We don't know what's going on there. Well, no. Ryan. Now. Knows. <laughs> I'm just like, it's Chestnut Man in the car? Probably in the car. Now we're back, and, oh, Hesh is, um... What sex? No, Hesh is, oh. Hesh went to go talk at Damn the it. office. Wrong timing, Ryan. He's going, <laughs> Damn yeah. it. <laughs> no, Hesh always wants sex. <laughs> uh, just not from Cricket, because he's there, he's trying to, he wants to talk to Cricket or something. And Cricket's not there, and he goes into Cricket's office, and he starts going through, and he sees, like, pictures of Cricket with, like, the kids, cr- pictures of Cricket with Rosa and the kids. There's no scene anywhere. Opens the drawer, finds a picture of Cricket and Rosa, like, in one of those little photo booth things. Getting Young pretty Cricket. chummy. Young Cricket. And I'm like, so first I'm like, is Cricket, like, we're setting up for us to think maybe Cricket wants to be romantically involved with Rosa. But now I'm like, was Cricket maybe her foster brother? Oh, no, they okay. Like, so, so Cric- if, they were... if she's the foster, if she's the little girl from the beginning, then you're saying that Cricket is the little boy? That they never seen? I thought they showed? said that they dated. No. Not no. necessarily. I'm pretty um, sure they said that. Oh, did they? Oh. No, they, they didn't say dated. They never explicitly said that. They said, um, I've no, you we've ever known take each those weird since... uh, photo booth pictures with someone you ain't dating? Yeah. Um, no. But that wasn't yeah, me. We're friends and we're having fun. Fun friends. Fun they, friends. Next time. Next time says... in town. We're going to be fun friends. <laughs> we're gonna be fun friends. <laughs> they've, been, they've known each other since high school. They went to Gross. what politician school together? I forget what school. Yeah, that was. politician school. <laughs> politician school. <laughs> they went to politician school together. They've known each other forever. I'm like a part of their family. No, I haven't started my own family, but I'm She's like a, a part of their family. She did that for me. Yeah, she did it for me. I'm Gustav's dad. I didn't have to go through the pain of childbirth. She did that for me. And then look, Hash is like, Would where you were say you he's Gustav's time? dad? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! For a second, you? I was thinking you had said that he's Steen's dad, and that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, this is like alternate timeline shit and all this thing. So this part of the book, Hess's actions just frustrated me so much because he's he's pretty much figured out. Okay, the nurse and the driver that they, they don't have the time to have killed rigs the other and, Je- and the guys have, he has they, an like, alibi they have alibis for that time okay that's so right it can't be them but in his mind so he's like okay i see all these photos and you don't have an alibi so oh you're starting to look real good to me and my scrawl notes i'm like bitch how many other people probably don't have an alibi for who that is he time? talking about that didn't have an alibi uh rickety crickets Cricket. oh because crickets. he doesn't say he, he specifically- didn't but he just didn't seem to he specifically asked him about one of the nights where the driver supposedly had an alibi. And then he's like, oh, well, I think sh- he was on the schedule to work, but then we canceled that event. And then he's like, but where were you? Yeah. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You're, you're reaching at straws now, Hess. Uh, he, look, on. he's at the end of his wits because they're, they're going to shut down the case if he doesn't find anything else because they're going to assume it's these people. He knows that. That's what he's a man fighting against the clock. Now, Cricket <laughs> says, uh, I'll answer these questions, you know. When I get a solicitor, and that's when he's supposed to say, why would you need a solicitor if you're not guilty? Because you're trying to I mean, fuck a, me. Yeah, because <laughs> I've seen what you did to Linus Becker. Mm. Now, I want to get a solicitor, and I want to put them in a room, totally covered by no soliciting signs, and see what happens. Oh, shit. Could they solicit? I don't think they could. But, so then what are they? Do they even exist? If a bear solicits in the woods? So it's like an echo of a solicitor, right? So it's just the angry spirit of one that's... <laughs> you're, you're, you have fig- I think you're figuring out how to haunt a place with a person. <laughs> no, I already did that. His name is Dale. What's up? <laughs> he, he lurks. So 
these cops are making bad moves left and right. Naya goes to the apartment warehousing by herself. Like, why are we not? I know we split up this part, but at least take someone with you. This is dumb. It's all dumb. So she's over there. Uh, well, Hesh yeah. goes to, what? to the... Nylander is sick of their shit, I feel like. He's like, I want yeah. you two broken up. He's trying to break up their relationship. He's trying to end that case prematurely again. He didn't learn from his last lessons. Premature e- e- case you lay- Eje- end case you end case you huh? Yes. yes. We can workshop All that. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll get it on a t-shirt. So, but so Hesh goes over to the where they found the van, and we find dead nurse, dead driver. So I'm like, Gustav is the murderer. He could be in this situation, Hold, depending does how he it went have down. an alibi for his sister. Yeah, I don't think he does. And he was literally there when the driver and nurse got murdered. Does he mm-hmm. have an alibi for any of these other murders. I mean, it, he's going to say he was with his dad, but we all but know his, his dad was drunk out as drunk. a skunk. Uh-huh. Drunk as a skunk. Uh-huh. Now they're trying to say this is a murder. Drunk? Oh, hella, hella, hella drunk. Is that, the right, I might, is that the right phrase? I don't want to no, be dr- a goat in a boat over here. A, you don't want to be goat boating? Boat situation. Yeah, drunk as a skunk is correct. Uh, they say it's a murder-suicide, like they got in a fight with the boy, she accidentally killed her boyfriend, that and then killed her That is so easily throat. disproved, just by any forensic work they would do. <laughs> like, the, I mean, the cut how many murder-suicides do you hear about with a knife? This one? Yeah, you do this it with one. a... Well, they um, don't have guns Romeo in these countries. and Juliet? Yeah, that's it. And you know what? One of them was alive. One of them was alive, and I think poison yeah, was, was an like, accident. Might have been involved. I can't remember. It was, okay, so it was fake poison. Juliet oh. was tricking him, and then he's like, "Oh no, she's dead." Then he kills himself, and then she wakes up from her little sleep, and she's like, "Oh no, he's dead." So, she, so you're yeah, saying there's so a it's chance? A, it's a no, that's a suicide, <laughs> suicide though. That's a suicide, suicide, suicide. Okay, so it was a fake suicide. It leading into a suicide, which then led into another suicide. I'm sorry, now, everybody. Actually, we should have done a spoiler warning before we went into this. Oh, shit, Juliet, shit, sure is I would charge Juliet with murder. She is responsible partly for that first suicide because she was trying to do an I fooled you. Yeah. And, you know, but now that's it's just a classic. Making... It's a classic hee hee ha ha gone wrong. Right. And that first suicide ends up just being an escape boat. The escape. The boat goat. The greatest goat boat, boat escape. Goat. Yes, exactly. So Hesh is now like really like freaking out because he's like, wait a minute, there's no way this is how it went down. All right. And he's like, I got to figure this out. Cut back to Naya. We're in the warehouse apartment. There's a beeping noise going on that's driving me fucking nuts because I think it might be in my house. It's a carbon monoxide (laughs) alarm all over again. There's a guy lingering in the shadows again. So they don't have this crime scene like protected or anything like that. And I'm like, he lingers in the shadows better than Batman. They cannot secure shit. Shit. So, like, get there. It's an annoying ass fridge all the way in the back. And it's like, you know, they would have checked that. Why, so why is why there is a fridge? This is so in this frustrating. Empty warehouse. It's not even in the apartment part, but they're acting like they didn't ex- like investigate the entire building. And it, it goes down this way in the book, too. So they they secure the place and then they leave a couple cops there as they go to find out what happened with the couple. And. Thulin comes over here. She's like, she looks around. I can't even remember if any, there might be like a guy who's like watching the place. And so she goes on yeah, in. Probably on his phone looking at Pornhub. Okay, but um, the, the forensic team has been through. The other detectives have been through. So they, they've, they've done a search. They've done it. And then she just happens to go through and goes, oh, what's that? Opens up the fridge. Tumble, tumble, <laughs> tumble. And I'm like, how do these fucking people? Are you serious? You know these incompetent cops are checking the fridge first thing because well, they're no, like nobody's gonna miss any of this. There could be some pizza in beer it. there or something. There was a yeah. sticky note that said, "Don't eat my food." Like I'm gonna eat it. There's, uh, I'm gonna eat it. Terrible. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the police work in fucking original Nana Beard is much stronger than this. This is yeah. this is the Innocence Police Department. Okay. Yeah. Because we find out <gasps> she opens the fridge and it's filled with the missing body parts. Hooray! And it's so obvious. Now, they, they, uh, Hesh also points this out. He's like, wouldn't they have fucking found it on their first sweep? Yeah. Yeah. So it's been has. planted. It could have been planted. Now, this sounds fucking far fetched, but we're watching this. That shit was planted. 100%, it's right? Fucking, it has to be. It's Linus all over again. 
Now the question is, who? Chestnut Man. I, it's obviously the Chestnut Man. Yeah, but at, who is Chess, Chestnut Man? And at this man? point, I'm starting to look at uh, Janice. Because I'm like, all right, you lined up Becker. And you got him where you wanted him. I'm like, or maybe, maybe it didn't take too much convincing. You killed Deadbeat Riggs and you're acting like that was, uh, you're upset about it. Maybe you're upset because you had to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Or I, maybe. I, could, I, could I don't see, know. I could see Janus. You, Janus. But then I'm like, what? You expect me to fucking think Gens and his forensic boys really couldn't spot this shit? Uh huh. Okay. I'm like, all right. Back on board, Team Kenny. Uh huh. I want, so I'm like, all right. I want to know who, who was here. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, who knows po- how to keep a body part? Uh-huh. Who knows how to preserve fingerprints on a chestnut man? I'll tell you who. Jiminy Cricket. The forensics guy. <laughs> okay, there, we're setting Cricket up to be a prime suspect, and that's why I'm like, nah, Red Herring. There's no way. Red Herring. There's no way it's Cricket. So now Steen's sitting there grilling Gustav back at home like he grilled that girl earlier. Like, ah, what do you remember? Well, we need, uh, I need details. Give me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> I need to know. And my next note is uh, he's just too good as a grandpa. So I guess that's more about the daughter wanting to live <laughs> hey, with uh, the grandpa. Me, she and her, she and I, we're moving to another country. Going to live out our days. I'm a, we're going <laughs> to open up a farm. I'm going to sell uh, yak milk. Yak milk. Anyway, got to go. Yeah. Got to go. Got to go. She's pregnant. Bye. Oh. Wait, is this oh. a classic? Uh, she fucking <laughs> ate your guts and uh, I got to go. Bye. <laughs> We had a baby, it's a boy, and it hates you, bye. He needs to be at more minutes on his phone, I think. <laughs> he really should. Hesh is right, damn it. That's all I'm saying. There's no way Hesh isn't right. We've seen these shows before. Hesh is right. Now, the real question is, I wonder how many people I've met in my life that have body parts in their freezer. Um, I feel like the answer is not zero. At least people? one, oh, right? for you? Yeah, because you, you meet... Yeah, okay, God. Um... That's true. I do magnet so, those now, randos. You, let's be more specific. You want to say human body parts. Well, yeah, human I think body that's parts. What that's, what mean. that's what I mean. Okay, I, I was just like, you got a rack of lamb. You could have some chicken beak. You could have a whole bunch of stuff going on. <laughs> chicken beak. <laughs> Waste not, want not. I've been thinking about doing something with some turkey tail. You could have a goat hoof. Why do you Boil say that down. like We're I should be surprised, stew, Daniel? <laughs> You just gotta be careful about the the goat bones, because if you just they'll cut you up on the inside if you if you're not careful. You could have a cow's tonsils, a tongue, the tongue. It's not they what I said here. though, because cow tongue's a thing. Tonsils are probably not. I mean, they're a thing, but there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you take all those other rods and ends and bits, and you like mash them all up, put them in a sausage. Put We're them in talking a stew. hot dogs, baby. Talking hot dogs, baby. This got to be, I guarantee, I, in China, you're surrounded by lots of people. And they're, like, it's, okay. They don't, have, they don't have refrigeration. Oh, yeah, they don't even have AC there. I forgot. Yeah. I would, He's not uh, de- denying it. Well, no, 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 I have AC. I have heat, too. We just don't have insulation at this part of no, China. Northern China, the they do better with part. insulate. The body parts, I mean, at, uh, yeah, uh, 100% I have to have been. Because where I used to live when I first got here, maybe two years before then, like, they found, they found a body behind the wall. <laughs> That'll happen. Okay. They found a body behind a wall nice. in one of the apartment buildings. They found uh, someone had killed a man, cut him up, put his body into garbage bags, and left it at a park. Uh, we, th- we probably speculated that one was probably about money. He owed someone money, and this was a... Uh, Triad. Well, you're not y- yeah, going to get this, the this money a, now. Not from him, but yes, from his family. Or from his friends that also are in debt I think to somebody's just being a skateboated here. You think someone's motorboating on the goat? <laughs> That's what I, I mean, think. Look, I, I had this apartment building on one of my routes where they found out the smell was not coming from the backed up sewer, but in fact from the dead guy upstairs who was partying with the people across the hall and I guess maybe OD'd. So they put him on the couch and then after a few days they got tired of his little dog yipping. And so they broke the dog's neck and put it on his lap and then just left. And it had been sitting up there for a while. That's fine. That's a perfect. I wasted a perfectly good couch. We could have used that couch. That's a stabbing couch if I ever heard <laughs> that's one. A haunted I mean, that's, couch. A, that's a neck breaking couch if you ever, uh, ever need it. Probably some needles in it. That's a couch with culture. Oh my God. Think how comfortable that couch must have been. Right? To keep that dead guy there all that time <laughs> he could have gotten up at any moment but he chose to stay there he chose the weekend of birdies baby he was hoping so look 
just for the sake of fun, I'm just going to stick with um, my forensics guy, even though nothing really is actually telling me that, but I just, I got a feeling. Okay. Not a real feeling. I'm just, and Kim fell asleep during this episode, and she's still bored out of her fucking skull, so <laughs> she's going to stick with her original thing, which, who was she originally saying? Was it the partner? Hess? Did she say Hesh? Yeah, I think you, t- she you, you said she said Hess. And we all went. But Hesh wants sex, saying? not murder. Hesh wants sex. I think he just showed up and started killing. Come on. She has not seen well, a beard. Well, think about it. The murders didn't start till he got there. I don't, I don't know that she said. That's true. Hesh. Well, no, the, the Christine. Well, we don't know she's dead. Situation. Abduction. Oh, no. She did say I, she thinks the partner is the killer. So, well. That's just because he's skinny. Um, and tall. I, He's at this point, man. yeah. So you you thought it's Gantz at this he's point. He's a slender man. I thought it was Gantz just because he's the. I'm like it has to be one of the cops here. Otherwise, this isn't going to make any sense to me. Um, Gantz is a name that I've read. <laughs> so, um, but I also had Jonas on there too. I'm like, yes. okay. I'm like, I don't think it's the police chief. That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, but Gens doesn't make really any sense to me as for, I don't have a, I don't have a motive for these people. I just have means well, and opportunity. Well, we gotta figure out when this all ties back to that original case. Like, how is that gonna tie with, up? With right. Sandwich Cop. Long may he reign. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can't just be, oh yeah, you were a foster kid in a weird situation. Right, it'd be weird. So that makes me think, if that is the situation, that makes me think then it's the foster relationship that's more important. Mm. So... Maybe Cricket was her foster brother, and she just doesn't tell people because they're also lovers. I don't know. I'm going to stick with Forensics Guy, and it's starting to make more sense. I'll tell you what, Kenny. uh, You're going to know after the next one. Yeah, and then Daniel's finally going to be getting to watch an episode he hasn't seen after that. Wow. Finally finishing it. After years of watching this show, Daniel, you'll finally be done. I don't think it's bad to stop a show that has six episodes before it ends because it's not a huge commitment. But we can go back to the fact that I still have one and a half episodes left of Game of Thrones because I stopped the second to last episode and I'm just like, I'm fucking done. And this is me talking here, guys. This is Kenny. How often do I just fucking stop watching something because I think it's bad? <laughs> you should watch House of Dragon. I hear it's good. It's great. Uh, we're finishing up Avatar right now, the live action one. I'm enjoying it. A lot of people don't. But uh, I think they're just overly critical fanboys of that series. I really liked One Piece. Uh, one Piece was really good. I haven't watched Yu Yu Hakusho Show yet. <laughs> I haven't watched that Yo Yo uh, Hook I know Chow it. yet. Yep, yep. Oh no, you were close. You were so close. What What did you want me to say? I don't know. Okay, but I got good. Did news. you want Be- me to say Yuck because, Yuck Hakusho? Hukka- because I have. Whoa! What is that? What you wanted me I to don't say? Never Ryan? that. I don't know what that means. Never that. I think that's what he wanted me to say. Is, this fucking guy. You're is that a time, time cop? Gonna have to come is that going to have to be a time cop one. moment? <laughs> time cop's going to have to come in. Take care of that. Is that definitely a time? I don't know what the... I, I really don't know what the hell that means. Time cop. Arrest that man. I don't either. Never, never will. <laughs> well, I can't ask you guys who you think it is because you guys all know who it is. I mean, uh, Ryan had notes. I might not, I, I took notes, so it's easy for me to say who I think it Ooh. is up to this point. But you what can, if... An, I might not yeah, know, What though. if in the next episode they... they it's possible it they like change it. tell us who the killer is and Dale is just an idiot. Holy shit. That could be that could be true. That'd be great. Damn, actually, is that a denim shirt you're wearing? Denim, because no. like the way the lights hitting it and the low quality of your camera looks. No, I I, I see how it would look like that, but I'd no, be a lot it's not. Cooler if it was, you'd look good in denim, buddy. Denim yeah, on I denim. know, because I'm fucking I'm fucking jacked. If you were in dude. an all denim <laughs> outfit and you were sitting outside yeah. like a place like a Tasty Freeze, and you got a uh-huh. chili dog, <laughs> you think I'd be sucking yeah, on it? Eat it. <laughs> I'd probably be sucking yeah. on it. Well, how you, you, know? you have you to suck to. on it once you, when you first get it. Otherwise, the juices just explode all over your face. Listen. Do not give this man a chili. <laughs> <laughs> listen, to the, listen to these sucking noises I'm about to do. Ryan, have you ever met Late Night oh, Dish? God. <laughs> um, oh, no. He can't afford it. If I, you, I told you. If you have to ask. Lonely Nights with Daniel. I'm, I'm waiting for it to show up on my, on my Spotify. Well, it, <laughs> from an outside perspective, it kind of is. Oh, uh, sure. From an outsider view, I could understand. Do you know how happy and um, amused I was when I ate food out of the trash the as other night? Always. <laughs> as always. As um. always. <laughs> I've been your uh, 
cutting it off kind of quick conversation. Grandpa, <laughs> Kenny, host, Kenny, host. Uh, Who's the, really the skateboat of this series? Oh, I, I'm a, I'm a skateboarding goat, Ooh, Daniel. Uh, skate goat. I'm riding on the. I'm skate holding goat. on to the belly of the goat as it swims in the boat to take me <laughs> to escape. Because we're gonna go get a pizza, right? I don't want a pizza. You guys want some pizza? Kind of, my throat hurts. Maybe I'll just get soup. I've got chicken. My throat hurts too. You also got this big mug. <laughs> with, is that your whole family tree on it? Oh no, this is uh one. Uh, a class put all their pictures on there and gave it to me as a present. Oh, so you have Gross. pictures of the children you teach in your home? I do. Mm, get them, hash. <laughs> hashtag sus. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Did you say hashtag? Okay. <laughs>